salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back. Um, coming with these new energies for these new weeks. Just getting them cracking already. Uh, Astrology is definitely on the way. It's gonna be a goofy ass bi weekly. <laughs> it's gonna be from like, um, pretty much like what September 23rd to. Basically, October 7th. Other than the time date, it's kind of perfect for me because it's like right in the middle. Everybody else's time dates be how everybody else's time dates be. So I'm going to just go completely left field and see how many time dates, what they look like after that, though. But they definitely come in, um, definitely spending the day doing that in the midst of live readings. Um, I got two emailed readings from... Just gonna shout y'all out, let y'all know I ain't playing. Uh, we got K Star. Yeah, got you. I'm free. Yeah, I got you too. Don't even trip. K Star. K Star 92, not free. I got y'all. All right, don't even trip. I got y'all today. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Everybody else is waiting. Thank you for y'all patience too. But they've been waiting for a hot second. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get them right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just hit 500. Uh, Thousand views, which ain't much, but for me, that's something. You know what I mean? I got rapper homies that ain't even hit that number yet. You feel me? Like, the shit's popping out here. I just appreciate all the love, all the subscribers, all my clients, all my peoples. You know what I mean? Y'all cool with me. The ones that's not cool with me, that's cool. What I've been seeing, though, while I shuffle these cards and get cracking, man, see a lot of psychic beef around the... The black community, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they could be foreign. I don't know. It's not my business to worry about another guy. That's what women do. But anyway, um, <clears throat> it's like they go around to checking motherfuckers. Not just the people. I mean, it's a few. It's a few. It's at least a dozen beefs out here. <laughs> and all I'm saying is don't come over here with that negativity, with that madness. Because, number one, I want all the smoke. You know, tomorrow, I want all the smoke. Number one. Number two. Already, <laughs> I ain't know what it is over here. So hey, run with it, cause it's cool beans with me. I don't even really care. It's just I'm pointing it out, just cause I know y'all see it within the community. It's crazy. Like my thing is, everybody has their own channel. Everybody has their own thing. You know, it doesn't make sense for you to come to somebody's level, cause in these beefs, somebody is at a low level, and the whole argument is on who's on a lower vibration from the other one, but. You know, it's evident who's on a low vibration when you see how far you have to come down to a person's level to even beef with them. Okay? Best thing you can do is stay out of it. No words is better than words if it's going to be something that's not building another brother up. And um, that's how I feel about it. But, yeah, I do want to smoke Kung Fu. I'm talking about they <laughs> people analyzing other people. Without their permission, it's not even about that. It's just who does that, you know? You cannot take, in my opinion, you can't take time out of your square to dabble in someone else's square when you got square biz to get to. You feel me? It's square biz over here. Maintain your square, your sector. You hop into somebody else's square, of course somebody going to want to smoke. And if they like conflict like myself, you going to get all the smoke. So just be cautious. You know why you ain't... <laughs> <clears throat> Psychic beefs. I'm a rapper. I've seen rap beef go horrifyingly long. From track to wax to streets. Facts. Let's get off this, people. Okay? Focus on the plan. We're a collective here. It's people outside looking at us, clowning us. Especially us. Watch how y'all behave around here, man. I mean, I'm, I'm game bang supreme over here. I need to stop that shit, but... You know, I'm who I am too, but at the end of the day, hey, it's ways to go around conflict. Just duke it out verbally. Verbally. Break dance or something. Fight. You know what I'm saying? Square up. Do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. Hey. Don't do it online though. Don't do it in front of collective though. Don't spread all that. Okay? Just appreciate what y'all got going on and stay in y'all square and get busy. 
for y'all start making other squares look bad around here. You know what I'm saying? Let's get with it. Me Greeny starts for five minutes. Got a new deck. Thanks, Miss Queen. <laughs> you know how we get down. It's my color, too. <laughs> oh, snap. I got my Bluetooth on. Let me put that down. My bad. Ready to yeah, man. Get all that beef out. Overall energy. Twin Flames and Separation. This is from September 23rd to the 30th. We got the Ascension process. The vehicle to Ascension. You know what I mean? I was thinking about this Ace of Wands earlier. What it could be. You know, I'll be giving names for cards and stuff like that. Making stuff up in my own little square. Because it's my square. And I can do whatever I want up in here. You understand me? Listen. To me, this is a new name. This is the Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> it's the Nebuchadnezzar right here. The Ace of Wands. This is your vehicle of ascension. Your pod. To get you to the real world. What gets you to the real world from the Matrix? The Nebuchadnezzar fuck you talking about they have to be somewhere to broadcast I'm pretty sure you couldn't broadcast on the surface of the real world because you hide from machines all day so it's underground but even underground is still ways to ascend back and forth from the matrix to the real world it's finna get real over here because bottom line we got this Decepticon as far as the overall energy because this goes for both y'all divine masculine and feminine y'all just gotta get on your way Get ascended. Go up. You cannot go left, right. Okay, you have to ascend up. You have to get past the 3D plane. Because it's, it's too real in the 3D right now. Thus the bottom line. Seven of Swords. It's the Decepticon. I'm going to put it right back to the vehicle. You do not want to get in the wrong vehicle. You want to get in the Nebuchadnezzar on your ascension path here. So you want to mess with people who are of light. Okay. People who are more in tune to your soul song. Not everybody else's. Fuck everybody else's soul song. It's your ascension process. So whoever fits your script or your ship, hop on that one. Okay. Because what you don't want to hop on is a Decepticon ship. I'm talking about you thinking it's the Nebuchadnezzar. Nah, this shit taking you and bringing you further down in madness. Bringing you further in the matrix. Eliminating you. You know what I mean? Bamboozling you, hitting you with this false prophet shit. Bible spoke of false prophets. I thought it was going to come by way of politics. You know, by the way of Pope and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like key figures in political authority. You know that that Kirk Cameron left behind shit that they program us with. What I'm seeing is, is this YouTube community. <laughs> the collective and shit. Like I say, devil got his hand in everything from church to this, bruh. Choose wisely. Swords, it's mental. Decepticon, exactly what it is. On your ascension path, be careful of Decepticons. You do not want to hop in the wrong ship. You do not want to get led by the wrong teacher. You do not want to get fed the wrong knowledge. Once again, it's information. You take it, attain it. You acquire it, attain it, right? Corroborate it, right? Digest it and get on your way with it. It's knowledge. Knowledge is power, but... In the wrong way or in the wrong hands, it could be detrimental. That's the Decepticon part about it. That goes for both use. <clears throat> be careful on this ascension path. Ascension path. Get on the right, Nebuchadnezzar, the right shit. <clears throat> Coming to the situation of life, and Six of Wands. This is a celebration. Or victory. Or just, in my personal opinion, just staying on top of things I see just like I said a person with a wreath over their head on with a horse on top of a horse you know riding through the neighborhood I see two black brothers they want cops they want nothing they either like black cowboys or ranchers or something like that you know what I mean farmers or something like that they was riding around south side whole time Hyde Park in the park area over there by the uh not museum of science and industry but it's kind of south not too south. But anyway, it was raw. With some big ass horses. And with some big ass brothers on them horses too. You know what I'm saying? It just made me smile. I was just cheesing. Just like, yo, <laughs> that's tight. You know what I mean? And it was almost like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure while they were there, they got to feel how I would feel in that position. It's like, boy, 
2018, I'm on Orson the Hood. Fuck you talking about? Like, <laughs> it's different. It's going to get smiles. It's going to get nice reactions because that's something you don't see on a, on the average. Plus, whoever those people are must be cool people to tame beasts like that. Right? So it's just like you really on your high horse, but not in a negative way, but just stand above the bull. Why are you in the matrix? You know, stand above the BS. Okay, masculine coming to the situation, he's still angry, which means he's still stuck, delayed, la la land mentally. He's past being in his head, but he still ain't did nothing. I mean, he has he he made his mind up, but he's not doing anything about it. Needs to be wands in my hand, not swords. Swords is in the mind. Feminine, you winding up. Wands is the overall energy. Swords is the bottom line energy. I'm pretty sure it's got a lot to do with this. At least he, you know, he and he progressed too. Moving on. Clarifying the. Uh, Divine Feminine, in regards to yourself, we got the King of Cups, Jack Arnold Carr. 1950s, 1960s, that. This guy's a lot to do with the whole rolling on your horse, being on your high horse. Like I say, not snobbish. It's just like I say, it's too much BS around you, and you got to stay A above it. You got to stay A afloat out here. Otherwise, you'll sink into the, the BS that is the world. So you're going to have to be on your high horse. You're going to have to be on your Jack Arnold shit. In 1950s, 1960s, wonder year shit out here. You know what I mean? Because like I said, it's bigger than you. Your life is way bigger than yours. And the people who are out here with their lives, their lives aren't really about too much. Or they're in positions like ours and wasting their talents or wasting their time, energy, and resources beefing with other people who are just like them instead of building with them. It's like what they said grew up when I was in the church. It was just like, you know, when the end come, it's like when the devil come and I mean, not the devil, excuse me. He's a bitch. <clears throat> you know where he came from. <laughs> God. It's like, you know, God going to be, he going to be harder on a person who know him than a person who didn't. person like me, so to speak. If I go up, can't wait to that day. I can, you know, be side by side. By the, the, the creator, you know, my eternal father. That's who he is to me. My eternal father. You know I me. Mean? And <laughs> it's just like, God, I forgot where I was going with that. Um, cause I was just thinking about that. Being side by side. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, I'm sure, God, I lost where I was going with that. Oh, yeah, I was talking about being judged and stuff like that. Because it's programmed. I got it out of my head. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to bring it back. Probably some shit I uh, cut out. But it's just like, yeah, um, at the end of the, at the end of the times, like when God like judge you, it's just man, what? Excuse me, just. I really, it was something important too. I was talking about the 1950, 1960s. That was like about the one years ago. This is why feminine you and regards to yourself too. High horses, tough love. Yeah, the church thing just confused the hell out of me. <laughs> Let me stop using that analogy. All right, going back. At any rate, sorry about that. I know I'm going to get a dislike off that shit. God, I was going somewhere nice with it, too. Said the devil name, and it just... He's a bitch. <laughs> any rate, King of Cuppet, feminine. Show some tough love out here. On your high horse out here. Because at the end of the day, you got to be just a little bit more special. 
and a little bit more accountable. Oh, yeah, that's where I was going with it. When God go to judging people, people who knew God are going to get it way worse than people who didn't know. So a person like me, that's where I was going with it. Sitting side by side by God, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, if if he get on anybody shit, it, on me, it'd definitely be your boy. And like I say, I can't comprehend. I can only visualize or just imagine what that conversation would be. I'm sure he would pull me off to the side like, look, man, you know I see everything, right? All right, man, just, you know, you're a good dude. <laughs> but you know better, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, I would definitely get a good scolding from the most high, given just who I am. But I am who I am, and that's the best part about it. Because out of every conversation God's going to have with the many people he created, I'm pretty sure as many grains as it is and sand on the beach, God is definitely going to, like I said, he knows all of us intimately. You know what I mean? Because he's here. So you got to be like him. You know, he's not around. He's isolated. I mean, he pops up. He's definitely on deck, but he's not around as administratively as he would like to be, given various reasons. Blame the other whack ass guy. But, any rate, all in all, why masculine in regards to you? Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, which comes from the tough love you get. Absent makes the heart fonder. A person has to chase you. They just will get a little bit more into it than you chasing them. Let me repeat that. A person has to chase you. You know what I mean? They're going to be more into that than you chasing them all the time. Facts. Moving on. Feminine. You, in regards to this masculine, got the Seven of Wands. Uphill battle, you fighting. That's the reason why you got to stay on your high horse. Reason why you got to show tough love out here. Reason why you got to send. From the bullshit. It's just a hill to climb. Nothing more, nothing less. It's a hill. You climbed hills before. No biggie. Smalls. It's small. Don't sweat the small stuff because everything is small. Moving on. Nine of Cups. Digression again. He went from the 10 to the 9, just like he went from the 7 of swords to the 5 of swords. Dreams come true. This is him in regards to himself. And the way he took a downplay to make this dream come true, I take it in two ways. Two ways. One, it's like I said last time, it's like He's got to go back to square one, okay? And that's the whole recognition phase, which was a dream come true initially. It still is, but initially, it's a dream come true. And just pointing shit out his reading in the future, he has the two of cups. You know, two of cup and you. And that's kind of square one. That's kind of what square one was. See, the Ace of Cups, that's self-love, self-respect, self-admiration, self-awareness. Two of Cups got to deal with two of you. Three of Cups is more than y'all. This is the perfect place to be, perfect place to go back to. Is when the wishes got granted of you being in recognition phase with him. And her, because he could be a she, she could be a he. You know how we rocking over here. And then, you know what I'm saying, 9 plus 2, that's 11, man. 11 cups, just one more cup that you two share in union. Share it together. Share while two a couple. Share while making dreams come true out here on some Disney business. 
Or I just take it he downgressed because he digressed because he still still holding back. Literally. You know, he's just ten he's like going back, holding back. Describes the whole deceptive content. So clarification time. Oh. Divine Feminine, going to the future, you got the Queen of Cups. This is the future card. Like, you're going into the future with a sense of knowing that your intuition and your confidence are excelled enough for you to at least do something with. It's a tool. Being to understand these videos, being to understand these cards, being to understand people's emotions, being to understand behavior and study it and analyze it and get good analy analysts analyzations of it. Excuse me. And you know, have the intuition to really have the confidence to trust that you know what you know what you know. To me, that's a psychic. You're going to the future using your psychic activities, your psychic powers, your psychic intuition to better yourself. You're going to use it as a tool to build something. Probably a platform. Probably a cornerstone to a, a whole new life. Probably to take things to a whole new level. We're talking about psychic intuition here, okay? I don't, you know, magic, I'm not, I don't know shit about that. I don't know nothing about that. Tarot, I'm doing it, I, I, I guess. You feel me? But to me, it's just intuition. I saw I'm analyzed, analyzed cars enough to know how to study behavior with it from analyzing it a lot. The astrology goes into it. It's just a trait that I use to build a whole platform that people do all the time. My platform is still small. When it's big, enough to put people in it, like that? Oh yeah, boy gonna be making moves. I'm gonna be putting on <laughs> putting on like Jeezy and Guy A around this motherfucker. But right now my shit is like here. It's here. It's on deck. Boy ain't really you know, at least once at least by the time I get here though, I can start making noise, you know what I mean? But I'm definitely trying to take shit over, man. <laughs> trying to take shit over, man. Psychically, the right way, which takes time and energy and blessing people, giving and receiving, putting in that work. Feel what I'm saying? My personal opinion, you got to build and connect with your core people, your core audience, and stay with them and grow good people. You got a squad, you want a squad of good people. I'll take half dollars over pennies any day. Fuck pennies. <laughs> Fuck quarters, you know what I mean? I need half. I need half dollars over here. Feel me? Or dollars. My level or at least half of what I'm bringing to the table. You dig when I'm STEMI. It's just where people be at. So step your game up. In more ways than one. And it doesn't have to be on a global scale. As long as you doing your sec like as long as you ah, as long as you hold shit down in your sector, you're good. And that's all you need to worry about. Everything else will come. If you ain't even a man in your own city, how you gonna be the man anywhere else? If you can't even make noise on your block, <laughs> how are they gonna how are you gonna shake the world? Feel me? If you can't even make noise on your own block, how are you gonna shake the world? Tell me that. Yeah, I can sit on this computer and touch the world like I'm doing now, however. I can't even touch the block. Type of man am I? What type of psychic am I? What type of man? You know, what am I doing out here? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, I run with a lot. <sighs> Clarify this Ace of Wands. You got the Nine of Swords. This is exactly what I'm saying. You got to get past the BS that's going on right now. These are current energies. You losing sleep. I'm losing sleep like a mofo or getting good sleep, still tired as a mofo. 
body tired, mind tired, emotions tired. It's like tired. Boy, they had it in more ways than one. But I still got to send through this bullshit. Through this worldly bullshit. And still got work to do in Zion. In here. You know what I mean? It's just a lot to deal with. But you got to gotta rise above it. You know what I'm saying? On some, on some cool running shit. Rise above it. Send past that. Do not get bogged down. Bottom line, as far as this Decepticon business, we got the two of Pentacles. I definitely finna pick another card because that's you and your mask. Hopefully in the same space. All right. Or you and this Decepticon in the same space. Seven of Pentacles. Bottom line, let's go for both of you. Soon y'all can be your authentic selves and get together. Each of your authentic selves, you guys can really rearrange some things. I repeat that. As long as you too are being your true authentic selves, you too, keyword, too, physical. As long as you two are being your authentic selves, when you two are in the same space as your authentic selves, you two can literally rearrange the shit around you. To your advantage, to your disadvantage, to your liking, to your taste. You can literally build a bridge that can really cement some things. So, throwing that out there. Coming to the situation, clarifying the celebration, this victory, this high horse, divine feminine. Got the five of cups, exactly. And the mist. <laughs> I say this is 40% of the reason why you kind of bog down while white things are kind of blah. I was saying this shit earlier, literally, on my way in the gym. I'm too alone out here. I didn't really... Man, listen. I don't fuck with people. Especially not people I used to. I'm Dolo. Mr. Solo Dolo. Be Kid Cuddy out here for Rizzios. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. The only homie I really had, besides my homies who ain't here, or in another state, <laughs> across the country or something like that. And that was my twin. My homie. That was my roadie. That was my ace boom motherfucking cone. And, you know, he's got the ladies, but, you know, can't really, you know, chicks is cool for chick shit, but that's really the business or what time it is dealing with them, you know? Sometimes I got to be, you know what I'm saying, with my mans, Joe, you know what I'm saying? Kick it, you know? Get some more. <laughs> Get some more crows or something like that, man. Just really have fun, man. Enjoy life. That type of shit. Be my authentic self. I'm definitely my authentic self with y'all ladies, but it's like, you know, I'll be in Mac Daddy Denzel mode. And when I'm in Mac Daddy Denzel mode a little too long, it's like using a turbo button on the motherfucking game. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to run out. <laughs> I'm Leo's. Then my move going to switch, and then it's just going to get real. You know what I mean? Damn, you was just cool. What happened? Boy, <laughs> Boy you got to do him. Look, masculine, coming to the situation, clarifying this aiming business, we got the Ace of Cups. Self-respect, self-admiration, self-care, self-awareness, and that's all this is. It. All, that's all this is, self-awareness. He's finally becoming aware of how long he's been taking. It's like... You at the free throw line and you keep getting buzzers because you're taking on day to shoot. You keep getting a delayed game as the quarterback because you're just not pulling the snap off in time when you know what time it is, but you tripping, tweaking, something wrong with you. You know, which 
is a call for him to be kind of self-aware. He wasn't kind of aware of the little small little delays, mistakes he's been making this whole time. He's finally starting to become aware of it, mainly because he's in the same position as you, feminine, with the dark night of the soul, clarifying this ace of cups. He's got to take care of himself, especially going through the dark night of the soul, especially delaying this whole demo. But it's not all on him. Even though it's in the spread, you got the five of cups, you the hermit, you by yourself in the midst of sifting through this BS, which is life right now. <laughs> it's like, it's too much stuff you got to do, right? On earth and in heaven, it's too much stuff you got to do for the kingdom. It's too much stuff you got to do for your family, your kids, your, your, your purpose, your plan, your business, you know, things have to run smoothly and in order the way they have to run. If not, things are going to go astray. So in the midst of you, Divine Feminine, coming to the situation, being by yourself, being a hermit, by force, I mean by choice, not by force, you still maintain it. Still find a joy, satisfaction, a smile on your face and giving the world just do. Not being like the world, treating them how they treating you. Just rising above that bullshit. Wild Dolo. Masculine, he's all sunken into the shit. You're above the water, he's in the water. And he's becoming self-aware of that. Clarifying this Jack Arnold card, this King of Cups here. Tough love. Good tough love, though. We got the Three of Pentacles. Engagement. Gotta pick another card. I'm hoping this gaming card comes out. We'll see. Four of Wands. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Now, why feminine you in regards to yourself? I just take it as this. You're definitely going to have to take the tough love approach to engaging your masculine for union. What I mean by that is you have to lead. I said this before. You got to spearhead this whole situation. How? That's your demo. Okay. You can get advice on it. That's what we're here for. But I'm just letting you know. This is just the message. You know. How? You have to figure that out, buddy. <laughs> the tough love approach works because number one, it's a difference from how you came before. Let's just say y'all do go back to square one to a couple. Like going back to bases and shit. You showing tough love this time. The fact that he's coming back after you detached just shows the flippity flop. But you don't want to use it as the upper hand. What you do want to use it is as an experience to play the other role. Okay. Gotta have that tough love shit. Like your mom had when she was your age back in the day. If you're young. If you're old back in y'all day. Heydays. <laughs> your mother in her heydays. Just like she was. You know. I mean she was out here. That's she, you, That would not fall too far from the tree. Right? All I'm saying is. <laughs> all I'm saying is. It's like. Be a lady about the shit, right? Like the whole day night, y'all go out, the whole eye thing, intense, whatever, you know, just getting bits and tastes. It's kind of like Muslim women, you know what I'm saying? They'll probably just lift up a <laughs> sleeve on your ass, you know what I'm saying? Just let you know the skin. Ooh, I like shit like that. Your skin, Wi Fi, I like this. Like, you see a skin? You know what I'm saying? Like, Carrie Washington skin, bro. Her skin is like. Ooh, <laughs> skin, you know, it doesn't have to be Rihanna just showing everything but the motherfucking thing, thing. you know what I mean, mystery is cool, just even though he's seen everything, all right, just tastes, bits, pieces of what he's been missing, so for y'all heteros out here, or you know, ones that smash and doing y'all thug, thick a jig out here, just don't give all the way in, enjoy the moment, enjoy dating. 
a nice kiss goodbye and getting back to business. You will see them again. It's not going to be in the world if y'all don't knock boots. It ain't going to be in the world if you don't take him up on his offer that he just popped out the blue wig, but you busy. Okay, you're got, you got to engage him. That has to happen, but when you do it, it's how you do it that's going to dictate the situation. Play the other role. Don't necessarily do everything he did then. But if it was quaint and, and beautiful and nice and you kind of want to do it just to pull that mirror, that Gemini mirror reflection thing back at him or her, do that. But the best way towards union is going to be the tough love. It's not about you, boo-boo. It ain't even about me. I'm just living my life like it's golden. But I'm focused on the plan. I love you, but I'm, I love the plan more. You know, I'm kind of, me and God kind of doing stuff since you ain't really around. So, you know, it's just me and him. If you want to be included in this, you can. But you know what I'm about, about what I'm doing. I'm not, you know, directly messing with you anymore because we tried that. We're not going to talk about the past. But this is just where I'm at now. You know what I mean? It's just like you can, like, get on my level or you can just stay where you at. Because I'm, I can love you from afar. This is you in regards to yourself. Okay? You got business in Zion. You got business on Earth, which is engaging your twin. But just like these two is red and speak the kind of same red language, kind of the same thing, it's just like you got to have a tough approach to the engagement on Earth. So you can really move home him in and get him where he needs to be in Zion. Because like I said, it's just like my channel. We ain't got time to sugarcoat no more. We ain't got time to be playing. Like, his purpose, his soul really should be your main focus. More so than his body. Uh, and mind and emotions and shit. Really just spearheading him in the right direction. Ascension-wise, would be the best thing you can ever do. That's getting him home. Because you're going home given what you know. You're awakened. You're out the matrix. You know you're going somewhere to infinity and beyond. Just make sure he goes too. He follows suit. That's why you here. It's part of your life mission. Is that. Okay? And that's more beautiful than any love story out here. That's a soul story. And we, you know what I mean? We just here. It's earth. It's just temporary. This is just a pit stop in, 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 in a place of life. Okay? Just throwing it out there. Clarifying this Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment this masculine has in regards to you, we have the Nine of Pentacles being at the cusp of being where he needs to be in the world. Once again, he can have everything. He can be emotionally fulfilled. He can have money. He can have the karmics that he feel or whatever. He can have a nice, wonderful life without you, right? It's a possibility, right? So it's just like at the end of the day, with your influence, who you are, where you're going, which is home. Wouldn't it be nice to kind of, like I say, at least drop enough jewels to make sure he gets home too and not engulfed in this world, be a soul lost out here, stuck in the pod in that matrix that he can get out of any time because he got out to get you out. Because he's Neo and he can maneuver both and four, but he acts like he don't know who he is type shit. Spearheading. Just so make sure he's headed in the right direction. By living a life that you have to live to be a light beacon for him to do the same. For soul ascension purposes. Okay. So overall plan of the home thing. I'll give a rant about that too. But this is the master regards himself. He's at the cusp where he needs to be as far as 3D with you. His position right now. With you doing your thug thigamajig right now. Feminine in his position in life right now. He's at the right place. To kind of lock in if he chooses to. Or lock in if you're making moves that's making him choose through. Hold on one second. Y'all yeah, doing a reading. I'm going to have to call you right back. What's going on? What up? Yeah, I'm doing a reading now, though. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. Clarifying the seven of wands, this hill you have to climb, feminine. Joker card. This is the full card. New beginnings. Oh, snap. No, that's a that's the devil card. 
Yeah, it's a double card. I did mark that. So, it's clarification on this here. Five of Wands. Both conflict cards are sitting with the devil behind it, just like the devil card. Except instead of a masculine and feminine being chained to the devil, it's both conflicts of life being chained to the devil. Once again, the woes of life, back and forth conflict, the ups and downs of life. This is just, and this is in regards to the masculine energy, and this is kind of what I've been saying too. What I hold in my hand is the world. Okay. Look at it like this. Me, you, people who can register with this. I ain't talking about the people who can't or don't want to. Y'all can peace out in this little rant. We live on earth. Okay. Only peace of God on this earth are through the people who have God in them. Everything has God in it. Okay. He's in us. We're in him. It's omnipresent, uh, a thought-adjusted spirit type thinking here, okay? We are lights, beacons of lights that shine in this dark-ass world. This world dark as shit because it's the devil sitting on top of this shit. He's a bitch, a hater who, f who try to find flaw in a flawless system. That's why he's a cockroach on this third rock from the sun, which is pretty much the only thing that the books are really talking about his name in right now. Probably there's other planets that he's probably jurisdicting that's doing more shit. They're way more advanced than we are, but we're good and stupid. Probably for a reason. Probably because we're the most specialists. The reason why we can't evolve as a planet. We're not even at level one, people. It's the reason why this cockroach keeps us not even at level one as a fucking evolutionary planet. We're an evolutionary planet. Why are we not even at level one? What's the fucking conflict by keeping us down as a planet? Fuck keeping the devil, keeping you down as a human being. He's a bitch. He has no power or can do that to you. You have the own flaw. Only flaw you have is the flaw you have in yourself. To bring yourself down. To disrespect yourself. To, you know, hurt yourself. To kill yourself if you wanted to. Feel me? You, have, you are your own worst enemy out here. Not this roach. Only thing he controls is the negative, the bullshit, the whackness, the beefing, the, the garbage that gets stirred in this freaking globe we stay in. It's the only piece of fucking control he has is in the third rock from the sun, which is only a grain of salt in the fucking web of the universe, in the ocean of the universe. You dig what I'm standing? It's small shit. Do you not understand what I'm saying? It's higher powers keeping this earth entirely at a low level. Keeping people in pods like the Matrix, they're dumb as shit. Why? That's the question you need to be asking yourself. Fuck. <laughs> Who? 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 You. You're the only person that can stop yourself. What? What you mean what? You're on purpose. If you're on purpose, you, you know what the fuck the business is. You know what? <laughs> how? You don't ask how. Okay, we live in a moment here. <laughs> Why? Why X Y? What is more important than why? But you know what it is, right? When? That's the motherfucking shit people slipping on. When? Motherfuckers do not know what time it is. If you knew what time it is, then you'll know exactly what this is. Why you gotta stay afloat, y'all? Rise above it, y'all. And if only you know feminine, then you need to let him know. Some way. Some way. Somehow, some way. You gotta let the boy know. <laughs> I let the boy know somehow. At any rate, moving on. I gotta speed this up. Clarifying this nine of cups. Just wish granted this masculine guy in regards to himself. We got the queen of pentacles. I gotta pick another card. Gotta wish granted for a boss. The boss up. That's the boss card. Trinity, though, and I'm glad that, I'm glad that, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like a dream, his dream come true is having a boss like Trinity in his life. Three of Wands, Trinity card, Queen of Pentacles, bossing up card, Khalees card. It's a dream come true. To have a boss 
for a, a twin, to have a trinity for a twin, to have a trinity for a friend, to have a boss for a friend, for a network, for a connect, whatever box he's got you in right now. To drink on true having a person like you around. Why? Because like I said, you, you're the only light that shines around this dark ass place. That is his life. He's not on the ascended path too far. I mean, he is subconsciously. He is as far as purpose. But as far as the world right now, currently, like I say, he needs to see ascension. He needs to see a crab coming out the bucket to make him as a crab want to come out the bucket. And stay out the bucket. He needs to see perfection to be perfection. He needs to see a boss to be a boss. And that's exactly who he sees now. He doesn't see no peasant. He sees a boss. Which is even more intimidating. Because he's got a boss of himself. Feminine going to the future. Clarifying the psychic card. We got the Romeo card. Got to pick out another card for that. I just take this as like I say. Psychic card. Use it as a tool in love. Romeo card. Nine of Cups. I call it the Romeo card. It's just giving out love. Giving and receiving love. Which could be in a more grown up fashion, but it's still good. It's the best night you can have out here. Well, the grooming card. The Knight of Pentacles is the best night you can have. This is the second to good. Three of Cups. That's just a third party. You know what I mean? That's just... Things that need to be organized, things that revolve around you. So it's imperative for you to be the best psyche that you can. For you to use these things, these videos, this collective, the people that you have access to, use it as tools. In love and in life for you to ascend to. It's part of the whole ascension process. You gotta be the truth of all, jack of all trades. Use it to your advantage, man. Take advantage. <laughs> Clarifying his lover's card, the masculine is going to in the future. You got the Knight of Swords, got to pick another one. Being clarified by the Knight of Wands. So, like I say, it's imperative for him because we got three jacks out here. So, somebody's jacking off. It's probably the masculine. He's got to stop making decisions without crossing his T's and dotting his I's. And he's got to stop moving fast in things that's not going to pay off in the end. Best thing he can do is, like I say, slow down. Oh, there, partner. <laughs> Go back to square one when you was two a couple of your twin. Stop making badass decisions out here when you don't really need to because you wasn't doing no bad decision making when you was out here with your twin. Your twin was helping you throughout everything you was doing. Made everything you was doing better. Cannot stunt on that. Think in the state you were masculine, if you're watching, that you were in before you met your feminine, and look in the state that you're in now. How you physically look, how you mentally think, how you emotionally are. Which is whack, because you're giving all that good energy, all that good emotions and shit to everybody besides the person who helped you get this. And you're becoming cognitive of that. So speeding through this universe, what does Divine Master want to let you know? He's still in his head. We know this because he just jumped back from the five back to the four digressing. Because like I said, he's pump faking. What do you want to let the Divine Masculine know? Detachment, detachment, detachment. You're pulling further away. You're pulling further away. Going to the future, we got a big ass decision to make. This goes for both of y'all. He's got to get out of his head and make a decision. You know, unless he's going all the way down, you know, from the Seven of Swords to the Five of Swords to this Four of Swords to this Ace of Swords, so he can start over again and get it right mentally. And maybe he's going to take this Ten of Swords from you, feminine. To get him there. Mm. Chop him down a couple blocks. But that's the message that I got. Hope I can be of some assistance. It's your boy D-Boom. Stay tuned.